Well, this week, a Jacksonville couple is celebrating a huge milestone, 65 years of marriage. And as Heather Crawford reports, they have quite the love story and a marriage that started out in front of millions of viewers. It was 1954. Dwight Eisenhower was president. You could buy a new car for less than $2,000, and a gallon of gas was just 22 cents. For Jean and Helen Edwards, love was in the air. He was 21, she was 23. Uh, she's just a beautiful man, she was there. The couple met four years earlier. He calls it love at first sight. I saw her in church on Sunday morning in a choir. They sent their love story to NBC and were chosen to be married live on television in New York City on the show Bride and Groom. Uh, we had this studio, it's Studio B, in Rockefeller Plaza, and it's NBC, and it's live because of the nature in those days. Yeah, everything was live. It was a 15-minute show, and the audience that day was huge. The McCarthy hearings had dominated television on all three networks for weeks, but NBC made the decision to air Gene and Helen's wedding instead. So everyone who turned on their TV had the choice of seeing the McCarthy hearings or our wedding. <laughs> we, we, uh, so. we blow the doors off of the Nelson ladies. Both of our families were in Texas watching television together, and as soon as we were married, they broke everything down and set up for howdy doody. <laughs> the wedding set the stage for more than six decades of adventures. Gene has authored more than two dozen Christian books, even a book of poetry for his bride. I adore her. They've traveled the world together and raised two children. While they admit marriage is challenging, through it all, they've never given up. I know the secret in one sentence. You ready for this? I charge for it. Don't ever get divorced. At 86 and 88 years old, they're still in love. We made it. Six, yeah. 65 years plus four years of courting, 69 all together. <laughs> they say they've learned to accept each other's faults. We could, we could get really mad at each other, but I finally learned that in the end, love is going to win out. So we just as well give in to it sooner. And Jean's advice for all the husbands out there? Never mention your wife's weight under any condition. Never raise your voice to her. Leave her alone and let her be who she is. In Jacksonville, Heather Crawford, First Coast News, on your side.